Well, a lot of people pushed the Russia collusion hoax, but few pushed it harder or spent more time pushing it than former acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe. Thanks in part to his efforts, Roger Stone, George Papadopoulos, and many others had their lives destroyed. Some of them were accused of making false statements to federal agents. Roger Stone faces life in prison in a trial that starts in November for that crime. But according to an Inspector General report, even as he was leading the effort to destroy the lives of others for lying, Andy McCabe was himself lying. Will he get the same treatment that his victims are getting? Federal prosecutors are weighing that question right now. And how about Jim Comey? There's another Inspector General's report about him that also found possible criminal behavior. A lot going on. Tom Fitton is the president of Judicial Watch. As you know, he joins us now to sort it all out. Tom, thanks for coming on. First to Welcome. the Andy McCabe question. Will McCabe face the consequences that so many others have faced for this? I don't know. Uh, you, you raise uh, these other uh, folks that were targeted. General Flynn was ambushed. Well, thank you. Thanks to, General, th thanks to Andrew McCabe's conduct. And he was referred for criminal investigation in April of last year. So he's already gotten special treatment in the sense that the Justice Department has been agonizing over whether to follow the leads of the IG report that this guy lied three or four times to investigators. And we just received documents both under oath and not under oath. So if you're talking to the FBI and you lie to them, even if you're not under oath, it's a crime. Wait, That's the crime wait, wait, that General Flynn was prosecuted so for. So what would happen to you or me or your average Fox News viewer for doing that same thing? Would we be getting the same benefit of the doubt that McCabe appears to be enjoying? Well, General Flynn was prosecuted within months. Right. Uh, Andrew McCabe, they haven't decided whether to prosecute him because, according to the New York Times, they're worried that they might get a Democratic jury here in the District of Columbia and they won't get the prosecution. I tell you what, uh, the Justice Department is need to, needs to speed up justice, not in an improper way, uh, but justice delayed here uh, suggests that there is a double standard, yes. that if you're associated with Trump world, you get targeted. If you're, uh, you're anti-Trump, you get protected. Well, that's right. Or just in the, on the left more generally. I mean, Lois Lerner walks free, you know, uh, yeah. even, even now. What do we know about the Comey report? Well, the reports are, you know, he admitted to leaking documents, right. FBI files he had on President Trump to get the special counsel appointed. And the IG reportedly has found that that was wrong included classified information, and he also lacked candor in talking about it with investigators. Now, supposedly the Justice Department has rejected the referral for a prosecution, has declined to pursue it. I don't know if that's true or not, uh, but I tell you what, if both Andrew McCabe and James Comey get away with lying and leaking, uh, I tell you, uh, this is, uh, it, it, it is confirmation that the deep state rules. So if you're Roger Stone and you're 67 years old and facing life in prison because you've been accused of lying to investigators, not about anything of substance, but just be, you lied, they claim. Right. H how can you look over at these guys who lied in the course of actually wrecking the country and watch them get away and think this is justice? Like, how does that work? It doesn't work. And uh, if I were the president, I would be pardoning people like Stone in a heartbeat, Flynn, the rest of them caught up in Mueller's web. And, you know, we're just talking about relatively minor crimes compared to the seditious coup that took place and the illegal spying on President Trump. I, I understand there's a U.S. attorney in Connecticut, Durham that's, uh, Connecticut in, uh, Durham that's looking at this, but I haven't seen any indications of a significant criminal inquiry into the most significant corruption scandal in American history, the spying on President Trump. Uh, that was illegal. I mean, is, is the IG going to come out on the FISA gate report, on the FISA gate warrants, say that there was something improper there and nothing's going to be done again? I tell you, it doesn't augur well. And uh, this, is, this is a sign that the Justice Department uh, has been terribly corrupted and it hasn't been fixed yet by no, uh, the Attorney no. General. It's making a lot of us very cynical, unfortunately. Tom no. Fitton, great to see you. Thanks.